Yeah, this is Black Light. We talked about this pyramid on this dollar and how did the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, how did they get their money? Well, they didn't do no labor. They didn't have uh, do no farming. They weren't scientists or but they were great thinkers and they formulated a, a scheme Ponzi how to uh, enslave you with this money and you have yet to react Accordingly, uh, you're playing right into the palm of their hands. So they are playing off to the majority of the people. We call it a democracy. Because on election, at this point in time, it takes millions of dollars to want, run a election campaign. And the average person can't compete with that. The average guy on the street, only people with money can compete in presidential elections. So uh, we're getting into what you accept as a, a government so the government is a reflection of his people of you even though you might not have millions of dollars you accept whatever uh, program is implemented on you so you know, they think you suckers. And ain't nothing I can do about it because the majority rules. So the majority of the people go along with this stuff. No fighters in the crowd. Now some, some Caucasians, some white people fight it quicker than the brothers. When they when they being scammed or uh, uh, dumped on or whatever, They'll, they'll protest and fight it. It don't do no good. You know, it don't do no good, but they still would raise the issues and uh, talk about it, write books about it. But the black man, we over here fighting among ourselves, scheming on ourselves, scamming on ourselves. So none of us is taking the time out to uh, try to get out from under this, uh, out from under these uh, schemes and plots, and we just keep on being suckered, all the way from the old to the young. So, how do, can you tell uh, agents or whatever? I keep going back to the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. You got to form committees. You, first of all, what Elijah did, he uh, formed a mili military wing of the Nation of Islam. They search you when you come in the door. Now you're finding that the, the white churches and black churches are trying to, or they don't want to adopt the style of the uh, Muslims of the Nation of Islam, but uh, they're coming close to it because they're finding a way to protect themselves now because guys are coming in shooting them up. But for 80 years, the Nation of Islam had this technique of searching. We search each other, man, because we never know which one of us will turn hypocrite or which one of us is an agent for the government. And so we search each other. 
in the nation of Islam, brother search brother, you know, each other. And uh, then we, you know, we got to take time searching. Some of us post, we got, we, when we go on post, we got to search. We take time being security guard. We be all outside the, uh, the, um, uh, all outside the temple or the mosque, uh, garden, the parking lot, walking a sister to the car. You know, if sister ain't got no escort, we'll drive them home, man. You ain't, you ain't gotta catch no bus with us. You know, uh, uh, we have invested. We had investigative committees on different areas, uh, and we would investigate each other uh, before we give a a speech. I mean, you know, a lecture at a certain place. We would go. The FOI would go. Make sure ain't no bombs. Make sure ain't no any kind of wire devices there. And uh, you know, people are beginning to other religious organizations are beginning to adopt our style. Also, uh, the women are wearing the proper clothing. Uh, they are in one class away from the men to, to, to keep keep you from getting all hot and horny uh the uh they wear you you know suit and tie uniform looking very nice uh make sure that you use proper hygiene and they come and inspect you also they they, they looking for any wired uh wired device or uh any kind of tech nanotechnology you know anything that could be uh, destructive to the nation of islam black light